and welcome to EU Trade Insights Brussels briefing. This will be our last briefing before the summer break, so I'm exceptionally going to do a briefing for the next three weeks. But don't worry, I'll try to keep it short. This week, as you all probably know, it's a TTIP week again. Negotiators are meeting here in Brussels for the 10th round of negotiations. As always, they are saying this will be a comprehensive round, but there are still a few topics that will stick out. One of those is services. The two sides are indeed expected to discuss their revised market access offers for services. On the EU side, it will still be an offer based on a hybrid list, which means a positive list for market access and a negative list for national treatment. And again, just like in last year's initial offer, the EU will not be including commitments for financial services, market access. This is still because the US is refusing to discuss regulatory cooperation in this area. The EU offer will also not include any commitments on data flows. But the two sides will still discuss their revised offers, explain to one another the new elements of said offers, and are expected also to discuss at length telecommunication services, for example, among, of course, other areas. Intensive talks will also be held on the regulatory issues, such as sanitary and phytosanitary measures, and technical barriers to trade. Now, in terms of tabling textual proposals, I'm not sure there's going to be much since the Commission will not be presenting its draft sustainable development chapter as had first been planned. Sources say this will still need to, they still need to consult with member states, although my guess is that they won't be proposing anything because the US has not yet signalled it was ready to match the EU's ambition on, on this specific chapter. And as for previous rounds, EU and US negotiators will pause their talks in the middle of the round, that is Wednesday the 15th, to attend a stakeholders event. Now also this week, actually today and tomorrow, MEPs from the International Trade Committee are meeting to discuss and vote on a range of issues. There's actually a lot on their agenda, so here are just a few highlights. Today, there is an exchange of views with Commissioner Malmström on the Commission's future trade strategy, which should be published in October. I'm not sure to what extent Malmström will be able to get into the details, but MEPs will undoubtedly tell that what their priorities, what priorities they think should be included in this strategy. Now also today, there is an exchange of views with UNCITRAL's Director General to discuss the United Nations Convention on ISDS Transparency, you know, the one the EU could not adhere to because of disagreements with member states over the division of competences on trade. On Tuesday, a couple of votes, one to allow the start of informal trilogues with the Council to reach a first reading agreement on conflict minerals. There will be another vote on amending the protocol of the WTO's Marrakesh Agreement to include the provisions of the Trade Facilitation Agreement. MEPs are expected to consent to this before plenary as a whole gives the green light in September. Finally, other point to be mentioned for Tuesday into committee is the presentation of the trade priorities of the Luxembourg Presidency with Foreign Affairs Minister Jean Asselborn. Now for next week, not a lot on the agenda, as it looks like people are already going to be headed for their holidays. One noticeable trade event taking place in is the monthly meeting of the World Trade Organization's Dispute Settlement Body on Monday the 20th. During the meeting, Indonesia will be requesting the establishment of a panel to rule on duties imposed by the European Union on biodiesel. Indonesia is here alleging that the EU's calculation methods are in breach of WTO agreements. The Union is of course expected to veto this first request. Now let's turn to week number three, that is the week of the 27th of July. I have only one item to be mentioned and it's a big one, at least in the trade world. The World Trade Organization will be holding its General Council on Monday the 27th and Tuesday the 28th. And in case you forgot, end of July was a deadline that was giving, given to members to agree on a work programme for the conclusion of the remaining Doha issues. We all know that on trade deadlines are never really held, especially when we are talking about the World Trade Organization. And right now, it looks like this will again be just another missed deadline. But we will see, members still have two weeks to see if they can come up with something. That's it for me today and until September or so but I'll see you again soon enough. Thank you for watching.